everyone, this is Carol. Welcome to the official channel Video Prod. Today we will go through a very useful video editing technique, and that is changing clip speed. If you want to slow down or speed up the entire video, highlight some key moments, progressively alter the video speed to match your audio, or make your video look more cinematic, try the speed editor tool. With Video Proc, you can work with different bezel curves together with different speed templates to change your speed. So, even if you are new to video editing, you can create smooth and dynamic speed ramping effects in one click. I'm gonna break down this tutorial into 5 parts to empower you with this basic technique of changing clear speed. Before we jump into it, make sure you have set up Video Proc in your computer. You can find a link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now, let's get started. Usually, I would apply variable speed changes to your videos that go with tons of movements like exercise, drum shots, dance, and the results usually turn out pretty awesome. To use a speed tool, Let's import a video to your timeline. Click the left click bottom to choose a video and hit speed. The speed window comes with a handful of setting options. Well, it seems like a lot, but you can use it as easily as you are taking a candy from a baby. At the top is a preview window. Here, you can check the result in real time. Below the preview window, we have a few bezel curve templates. Each of them give a unique speed change effect. You can go with the proper template and add it to your creations. Usually, you just need to apply one of them directly to get a wanted outcome. By default, the change pitch icon on the left side is toggled off. This ensures the change in speed won't affect the audio pitch. And if you need to change your audio pitch along the video speed, simply enable change pitch. Next to your change pitch icon is the toolbar in the timeline panel. Here, we can find most of the tools we need. For example, undo will redo the speed change effect, play or stop the preview. The yellow bezel curve on the timeline represents the real-time playback speed. The vertical blue line is a speed mark. You can press a circle on it to see the speed ratio at the current time. Drag the circle up or down. You can increase or decrease the speed. When you finish your speed settings, hit Apply Speed to enable the applied effect. In this dancing video, I'm gonna slow down the air twist move part and speed up the rest. Let's try out the bullet template. It can slow down the highlight moments and fast up the rest to create an emphasis. Just hit the wanted preset and apply the effect on the timeline. Hit play to preview the outcome. Well, it looks great to me. And let's look at the changes before and after. The moments of the dancer jumping in the air are instantly demonstrated. And you can relocate the speed mark to adjust the start time of a speed effect. Drag the circle up or down to turn the speed and to get a better result. If you are not satisfied with the adjustment, simply undo, redo, or reset the timeline. You can also hit Prave or Lax to precisely alter the speed frame by frame. Finishing with the settings, don't forget to hit Apply Speed and to get this effect into the original video. Moving Lax, let's take a look at another material. In this video, I'm gonna highlight the dunk action. To do that, I need to speed up the running movement and slow down the dunking part. The speed change is consistent with the montage curve, so let's try it. We can see the landing movements are somehow slowed down. That is not what we want. But we just need to drag the speed mark upward, adjust some other details. The part where the pleasure is jumping up is slowed down. Hit apply. That's it. 
adding variable speed change effect is the fastest way to uplift your video. You can try out different bezel curves come along with the software to get different results. After we finish up with the speed changes in the video, we need to add the background music and place it onto your audio track. Well, congrats you guys! Here you got an awesome video come with the speed change. Well, you can also customize the speed curve by adding or deleting speedy marks and changing bezel curve shape. Try use your imagination as much as possible to create a bezel curve that suits your video most. And you can come to a better result if you can sync the video to a beat of the music. We will share with you more useful and powerful technique for video editing. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe our channel. Alright, we will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye!